In the COMSOL Multiphysics, we can define a completely customized material by using a blank material to serve as the canvas or template. I will demonstrate this process. Here we have the bus bar tutorial model opened, and to create a new material, use the blank material button. This can be found in the model tab, the materials tab, or in the model builder window by right clicking the materials node. Once the new material has been added, in the settings window, you can change the name or label of the material and choose the parts of the geometry this material is applied to. When you select the geometry, you'll notice that the material properties required for the physics of the model are automatically added and need to be defined. We can define the value for any of these properties by using a constant, a parameter to represent a constant, or writing an expression. If I want to define a temperature-dependent thermal conductivity, for example, I go under the respective property group node and add the temperature variable as a model input. So here is the temperature variable, which has the name T, and then add thermal conductivity as a model output. Now I can write an expression wherein the thermal conductivity is a function of temperature. In addition to this, you can also define material properties through analytic, interpolated, and piecewise functions. Lastly, under appearance, we can control the default appearance of our material in the graphics window. Under File, Preferences, Graphics and Plot Windows, be sure to have the Show Material Color and Texture option enabled. So now we can choose from the several predefined appearances available, like Copper, or we could define a customized appearance. If you want to access your material in other simulations, go ahead and add it to your user-defined material library. So that's all for our tutorial on defining a new material in Comsol Multiphysics.